if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. Okay, hey everybody, I'm here again, day nine of the 12 days of Christmas. Are you guys excited? Are you guys getting um, happy? The, this time of the year is such a joy to be able to go out and see the Christmas lights and to see all the different people and the hustle and the bustle. It's something that I get great joy from myself. Um, every year, me and my family always go down to downtown Chicago where it was where me and my wife on a carriage ride 23 years ago this um, season. This Christmas season, we got engaged. And so we've made it a holiday tradition for us to go down to, to Macy's, which actually used to be a different store, um, you know, when, when we actually got engaged. But it, it's Macy's now, and we actually go and look at all the windows. But it's kind of a tradition for us to go down in the holiday season and um, pick out a new Christmas ornament for our Christmas tree. Every year we go out and do that. It's kind of a tradition. Uh, we go and eat dinner there at the Walnut Room, and it's something that we really have uh, a fun time with. Um, so I love this time of year. I love the holiday season, but at Good Success, we've decided we're going to do 12 days of Christmas. And the um, the the whole gist of the thing is to, to stop being so selfish and to start thinking about other people and what we can do for other people. Christmas time is a type of, time of year that kind of pushes us into that, and I think it's a great time of year. We can work all hard all year, um, and at the end of the year, hopefully there will be extra left over, and we can give, um, sometimes sacrificially, but sometimes we can just you know, give on purpose during the holiday season. So the 12 days of Christmas, instead of it being on the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me, it's on the first day of Christmas I gave. And now we're on day nine of the 12 days of Christmas. And today is something that every single person out there can do. This is something that shouldn't be very hard for us. In fact, I believe it should be a habit. And it's something that I put in my life every day to try to make as a habit. And that is the gift of just giving thanks. So I challenge you today to give thanks. And it's something that we do at our mastermind, the last day of the mastermind. Everybody knows I'm gonna make them get out their phone or I'm gonna give them a card or something in a way to be able to thank somebody in their life for something that they've done for them. I believe it's a habit that we ought to put in our lives. And I think being thankful should be something that is, um, it just exudes from us. It's so easy for us to be thankful because it's a natural habit for us. And many times we get sucked into life and we think about poor poor pitiful me and all the things that you know maybe haven't gone the way we want them to go but you know i think it's very important to stop and be grateful the the word grateful means that you're so full of gratitude that it just comes out of you and that's what i want and i encourage and i challenge every one of you guys to create a habit of thanksgiving create that habit of every day thanking somebody for something and making it an on purpose habit. So today I challenge you to go out and be thankful and, and tell somebody thank you. I've got a couple different things I've written down here um, that, that you know I just kind of want to mention. First of all, if you haven't listened to or watched the, the seven days of Thanksgiving challenge, I would love for you to go back and look at all the different challenges that we did every day for just being thankful. Um, we're doing the 12 days of Christmas now and things that we can give and thanks is one of those things that we can give, but I encourage you to go back and do that. Um, you know, this time of the year, it's one of those things that as a boss and as an entrepreneur, there's people that work for you. There's vendors that work for you. There's contractors that may work for you. Whatever the case may be, I encourage you and challenge you to do something for them. Whether it's monetary, whether it's just a thank you note, I think it's very important to do you know those types of things. And that's something that we just got done with a couple weeks ago. We did a vendor uh, contractor appreciation party for our vendors and for our contractors. And we're really appreciative of them. And we just want to say, hey, thanks. We don't have we, we, we don't have a million dollars to give you, but we can at least give you a meal and we can say thank you for that. <clears throat> Maybe you're on the other side. Maybe you're an employee and, and that's awesome. You're working your way up to, to that level or you're working your way and you're maybe middle management, low management. It doesn't matter, but there's somebody that's given you a job and there's somebody that's given, that's taken a lot of risk. Uh, being a business owner is a lot of risk. So I would I would highly recommend thinking about thinking about that, thinking about your manager, thinking about your manager's boss, or the owner of, of the company if you're that close to that to that uh, part, and just say thank you for my job, thank you for investing in me, thank you for taking a risk on me, um, and thank you for helping supply for my family. 
It doesn't matter what you're going to go through in life. I promise you there's something and somebody that you can say thankful today. So whether it's somebody that just in the thank, in the Thanksgiving season, you can, I mean, Thanksgiving, Christmas season, you can get up and thank people for, or whether it's something that you do on purpose. Also, one more tip I'm going to give you today, because we're talking about giving thanks, is be prepared to say thank you on Christmas. A lot of us are going to get a lot of different gifts and a lot of different parties are going to be thrown for us. And um, I would, I would encourage you and challenge you go out today and buy those Thanksgiving cards or have a plan and be prepared now to be able to write those Christmas thank you cards for all the things that you're going to get this holiday season. I hope this encourages you. I hope this challenges you. And we are here at Good Success to support you um, in your good success journey. Um, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And in January, something's coming up I'm really excited about. We're going to be doing the 30 Days of Good Success. It's an actual workbook that I've created um, that actually goes through day by day. And then we're going to go through day by day f for this 156-page um, manual uh, workbook in January every day and we're going to go over each question that's on those each day in January. So I hope you'll be here back here same time tomorrow for day 10 of the 12 days of Christmas here at Good Success. I hope you'll have a blessed holiday season and a very Merry Christmas to come. I'll see you tomorrow.